next, our D-Zone coverage as advertised. That first video went over our D-Zone face-offs and the accountability that has to do with those D-Zone face-offs. This video is gonna be about our D-Zone coverage. Notice how we start in our end and we work our way out. So D-Zone coverage, um, we're gonna be green here and we'll put the puck right here. So we're gonna have the left side and the right side. So the first layer of protection is gonna be our left D in the left side. Our right D is gonna be in front of the net, trying to get a guy, getting a, get a guy, get a guy, get a guy. This D is gonna be hard in the corner. Our second layer of coverage is gonna be a center. Center, if they have two guys in here, we need two guys, but the center always has to stay between the net and the puck. The center can't get stuck in here and then they would have a two on oh or a two on one out. So a second layer of coverage is our center. We're gonna have a left wing on the hash marks and a right wing in the slot. So you guys can notice here, if I drew a line, an imaginary line from the dots through the hash marks, we're gonna play a three on three down low with our center and 2D versus a two on two up high. Our wings are always covering the guys that are above the uh, hash marks in the dot and our D and center always cover the guys that are below. What we wanna do here guys is if, this, if our wing comes into this corner, he's sort of screwed because if we get control of this puck down here and there's no one here to get a pass, we have to carry the puck the whole way past this D. And what tends to happen is we get the puck here and throw it here where the wing should be and there's no one there so it goes right to their D. It doesn't make any sense. Now if that puck goes over to the other side, what we're gonna do is this right D is gonna go right over to the puck, okay? This left D is gonna go right to the front of the net. The center is going to um, rag the puck. He's gonna chase that puck and stay on it. So then we would have a D and a center over there. We'd have our other D in front of the net. And then very simply guys, this right wing does not go down here. Again, look at this, it's so easy. So simple, the right wing slides over and the left wing goes in front of the net. So let's pull it back here. Overall here guys, in the D zone, it's so important for our wings to play two on two with their D up high, one and two. And our center and two D to play three on three down low. If we do this, we're gonna be very effective because when the center or the D get control of the puck, say the puck jumps out here and our D gets it, this wing can go right to his breakout spot and we get a pass. This wing flies, just like um, out of that D zone faceoff coverage, the wings are flying. We have one wing going to a nice sound breakout spot and the other wing flies. All we need to do is get the puck to the wing we can get control of the puck and ship it out and we're on odd man rushes all the time. So overall there guys, super important for our um, D and centers to be accountable down low. Uh, we need to be tough down low. D, center, and D. These guys have to go to war and battle, get sticks. Our wings are covering up high. As we go further on in advance, this net front wing can sag down and help in front. So we always have extra guys in front of the net. Uh, but there you have it guys, study these videos. D-zone face-offs and D-zone um, position accountability is absolutely the foundation of any successful team and our goal is to be a very successful team. So we need to get this stuff right before we move on to the offensive zones. Thanks for checking out this video.